14900K, yes, 6.2 gigahertz. Steamulator Windows 7. And this is the reason NVIDIA quit the low end. Let's get in the hot news, everybody. It is I'm Wednesday, Kyle. January 3rd, 2023. We're gonna jump on in talking about the 14900KS, which has been pictured for the first time. This is supposed to be Intel's next flagship CPU, even though they just launched the 14900K. Reports were we could potentially be getting a 14900KS announcement at CES, and it's been pictured. Look at it. Wow, it looks just like one that isn't a KS. Yeah, but it has the S <laughs> on the end. However, there are some questions about whether or not this is real. So the person who posted the original leak says, I don't know if this is a fake or not, which is great. It's also covering up the SPEC code. However, there is a QR code is being covered up as well. So it like can't be brought back to the person who leaked this in the first place. So the reports are, this is supposed to be like a binned version of the 14900K going up to 6.2 gigahertz instead of six gigahertz, which is kind of how the 13900KS worked. It was a six gigahertz version of the 13900K. So this one is even a step further above that. It's allegedly gonna sell between 699 and 750 bucks like the previous generations. Who knows if this is real? If you look over at Tom's hardware, they did a deep dive into the font and the kerning and the oh. everything thing to like compare it and they are suspect they think that this could potentially be wrong but it could also be that they just have new font they what's Intel, different about the font look at it look at how different it is i feel like there's no reason to not think that this is real the experts over at tom's hardware said that it could potentially be fake so just just be worried just maybe maybe be you, scared you who were planning on buying the 14th gen chips the 1400 ks just just be wary, but you know who you don't have to be wary about? Today's video is sponsored Jawa because oh, it's the marketplace for gamers by gamers. Let's say you got a little bit of a Christmas cash or you got a year end company bonus or Let's say you have some extra hardware, you got an upgrade for Christmas, and so you have old hardware to sell off. Jawa's the place to go do that. Whether you're looking to buy or looking to sell, you can find verified sellers over on Jawa that you can purchase from and make sure that you're good to go. You could additionally sell your GPU to them in case you want to get rid of that old piece of hunk of junk you have. Should I sell my A770? No, 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 no that's not junk. You sure? That's not junk. You're right, it's not, but I could still sell it to Jawa and they'll pay me for it, and then I could use it to buy something good. Let's sell the ROG Ally. Well, I could sell it on Jawa. Jawa themselves won't buy it from me, though. Yeah. They just sell the, the uh, buy the GPUs. I ruined the bit. <laughs> I expect nothing less from you. <laughs> so whether you're looking for a full PC, you're looking to buy some new parts for your rig, or looking to sell off some of the old ones, you can check out Jawa at the link in the video description. And if you use code UFD10, you can save $10 off your first purchase on Jawa. Be part of the marketplace for gamers, buy gamers, where gamers go to buy, build, and sell. Big thanks to Jawa for sponsoring today's video. But you know who's sponsoring us right now? Still Jawa. Jawa. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to segue out of that because NVIDIA doesn't know how to segue into their super series. Oh, see? Bad segue. I, wow. I turned it around. They teased so nice. the super cards. They changed all of their socials. Now it's a V for Vooper. For, for super. <laughs> <laughs> We all know the RTX 4070 Ti Super Vooper. Maybe they're going to change it Very to, good. to VI. Oh, the 6. Yeah, VI Vooper. Oh, it's a GTA 6 card. There Th you go. That makes a lot of sense. That's why it's not coming out for PC. Well, the sun is rising on a new graphics card. That is a massive GPU. That that has to be like in space. That's like a obelisk type deal. There's this thing, uh, it's called perspective. Whenever something gets closer to the camera, it looks larger. Oh, <laughs> so they did take this picture in space. Clearly, yes. Okay, but it was just an astronaut who has one of the new Vooper cards mm -hmm. that are gonna be launching in the middle of January. It, it looks like they're real. The, the super cards are indeed going to be happening. And we didn't investigate the font on the super cards. We're well, not doing that. In NVIDIA officially posted that themselves. Uh, that wasn't a rumor or nothing. Uh, what we, uh, Reese. Yo, welcome back to Yifty Deals, bringing the hottest tech deals out on the internet. Hope you guys are doing well this Wednesday. And hey, deals. Starting off today, we have this Tilted Nation 65% hot swappable wireless mechanical keyboard available in pink with brown switches for only $19.99. That's honestly a crazy price for a hot swappable keyboard that you can just use as a project board and go nuts with modding. But then next up, we have this EVGA Supernova 650G. G7, which is a 650 watt 80 plus gold fully modular power supply for only $89.99 with the 
include a promo code, making it $60 off. And then lastly, we have this Fantex Eclipse G500A mid tower case available in matte white for only $89.99 with the included promo code, plus a $20 rebate, making it $40 off. And with that, the deals are done. You can find these and more linked in the video description down below. But until next time, I'm gonna hand you off back to Britt and Kyla for the rest of your hot news. Cheers. Well, we got a bad deal for anybody who's still on Windows 7 or Windows 8 or Windows 8.1. Does it have to do with Steam? It does. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because you said it earlier. And it turns out Steam is no longer officially supported on those older versions of Windows, specifically because Steam relied on a version of Google Chrome that's no longer supported on Windows 7, so they cannot issue security patches or anything like that moving forward. So you're on your own. Valve's official advice is to go ahead and update to Windows 10 in case you're a little sad that this is not going to be support it anymore but you're just gonna be unsafe just like that slay the spire mod that got malware injected into uh, it yeah downfall i think it's called i'm not 100 percent sure i played slay the spire for the first time over the holiday season why I, i've been hearing good things <laughs> and i decided to give it a try and it was enjoyable and then after one day i was done with it mm -hmm. i did not download the mod so you're safe yeah. It only lasts for like an hour. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know what's going to last for seven years? The Pixel 8. Yes, it's getting <laughs> seven years of security updates from Google. But additionally, on top of that, the Pixel 8 part store is now available over on iFixit, where you can buy all of the repair parts for the 8 and 8 Pro, whether that's the screen, the casing, the cameras, all of that is now available. But Google has committed that for the first time that we've ever seen, that these parts are going to be available for as long as the security updates are for at least seven years. So this could be one of the most longevitedness Android flagships ever made. Longevitizing. Is the Pixel a flagship? Pixel 8 Pro is definitely a flagship. Okay. Yeah. And the 8 Pro is getting the support, so it's, I would classify it that way. <laughs> well, you know, you, well, no, you wouldn't- It's no schmamschmung, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's exactly it. <laughs> uh, you know what is not a flagship though? The RTX 3050, but you know what's even worse than that? The cut down version, the six gig RTX 3050, which is gonna be launching early this year. I was gonna say next year, but then I realized we're in 2024. And it turns out that we're finally getting a fanless version. Palette Ooh. showing off their Calm X RTX 3050 six gig. In case you want a small little graphics card that doesn't need no noise, maybe this will be it. Palette's not really sold here in the United States. We use a lot of Palette GPUs when we're in South Africa because mm. We had a direct partnership with them. So I, I have fondness in my heart for Palette. In case you could get it, you, you get a little a little quiet graphics generator. So is it using the like shroud of a different model? Because it still has like a fan. So you're looking at this one, which is their Storm version. Ah, That one has fan, this one don't. Oh, the column is different. The page so, that you were on after this. Yeah, it's this. It, this one's showing the Storm. So they are launching three different versions of the 3056 gig. One of them happens to be the Calm, but that's not being officially listed just yet, where you can go ahead and buy that. But you know what's even more quiet than a GPU with no fans? A uh, room full of soundproofing. That would be a good answer, not mm -hmm. what I was going for. Uh, I was going for integrated GPU, and that's exactly what we're getting with the Ryzen 5 8600G. And we're getting benchmarks for the first time coming out on this GPU, and it is looking fast. 600 megahertz faster on the CPU than the 5600G, and 900 megahertz faster on the graphics side of things, which doesn't really translate because the 8600G is gonna be on RDNA 3, and the 5600G is on Vega graphics. Vega, can you believe that? I can, because I knew it. I'm sure you did. <laughs> so we're supposed to be getting six cores, 12 threads, eight compute units going on in this thing that allow you to get a pretty fast setup on the integrated GPUs. So the reports are that the iGPU on the Ryzen 5 8600G matches a GTX 1060, which is not as fast as the 780M could be where it would match a GTX 1650, but the 760M that is in this 8600G is faster than every other implementation that we've seen of the 760M. So it is going to outperform what we've seen in laptops or in handhelds because it's gonna have a higher TDP, it's gonna have a higher clock speed, it's gonna actually be able to run uncorked. And what we're seeing is that it's getting close to the mobile 780M. So what you expect out of the RG Ally, the Legion Go, that's going to be in the Ryzen 5 chip, which is pretty incredible. And I'm, I'm excited to see what's gonna be in the Ryzen 7 8700G. But as we've discussed before, one of the reports that has come out is that Nvidia has completely shifted away from launching cards like the GTX 1630, the GTX 1650. They are done 
with the low end. And it, we've kind of seen that with how they're launching things. On laptops, yeah, maybe you might get a 4050 here and there, but Nvidia is done with the low end because you have things like this popping up. The 760M integrated is now going toe to toe with some dedicated GPUs that are out there. It's not worth Nvidia's time to make the low end cards, and especially with things like Arc graphics being put in a mobile form factor, Meteor Lake having that, it looks more and more like if you don't have the money for a graphics card, getting an APU is gonna be the way to go and you're actually gonna get respectable numbers. I have a link in the video description to a video that somebody just compares the 7060M to the 780M and this is mobile and you're looking at 30 FPS at 1080p and a lot of AAA titles, which is incredible to see on something that is just part of the CPU. I'm excited this, for this. We should all start getting 720p displays. Again? Yes. I like it. And then, there you go. Just play at 60 FPS on 720. Brilliant. Now we're thinking. Make handhelds not. Brilliant. <laughs> Just like some of your comments from yesterday's episode of Hot News, we got John Carter saying, considering the 7700 XT is only 12 gigabytes, I doubt they're gonna produce a 16 gigabyte model of a lower card. Maybe though we're getting a 16 gigabyte 7700 XT refreshes too, to which you already had a good response from Crazy Bro saying, could be backwards like Nvidia, 4070 is 12, while the 4060 Ti has a 16 gigabyte variant that I hope it isn't as pricey as that. It also is the same with the 30 series. 3070 was eight gigabytes. The 3060 was 12 gigabytes. It's not necessarily unprecedented. The memory speed ends up changing where people will look at the bigger number on the 78, 77, and 76, and the VRAM amount, yes, it might confuse a few people, but this has been something that AMD has done for a long time. Like you had the RX 470 could come in eight gigabytes, but then the RX 580 could come in four gigabytes. The RX 580 four gig would still beat the RX 570, the 470. I, I mixed up generations there, but that's the general point is that it, it, it can be different even if it is slightly confusing. So there's no rules? No. Yeah. Also, who cares about VRAM? AI. AI is where it's at now. Well, also more VRAM would allow for larger language models to be run on the card, so it is better for AI. That well, is, you download more. You download more AI, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Eric saying, funny to me that people call the 7600s and the 4060s mid-tier when they are quite literally low tier. They are what used to be mid-tier pricing, but they are not mid-tier cards in performance. According to what metric? They are mid-tier cards. When you look at the comparative performance of the 4060, up to the 4080, the, things are in the same region as they used to be with the 1060 up to the 1080 Ti. It's just that pricing has gotten a little whack on the, the upper end of things. They're not that low end. I think for some reason, the 10 series like ruined everything of everybody's perspective of what GPU segmentation and GPU incremental upgrades look like. And Nvidia is still paying dearly for the fact that they gave us the 1080 Ti. That, that car was too good for its time and its price point, and now it is the benchmark by which we hold everything else to, when it, in reality, the 980 Ti probably should be like what we're looking at. It's got a little bit more oomph, had two more gigabytes of VRAM, was a slightly faster card, didn't really dominate the market that that badly. I mean, I, th I think the what they're saying is just of the RTX 4000 series, yeah. The 4060 is the lowest. It's the lowest one they sell desktop, but it is still a mid-tier card. That's the thing. And like the grand scheme of things. Yes. Yes. But I think what, what they're saying is for this generation, for the 4000 series, uh -huh. for the most recent AMD and NVIDIA. Yeah. Thousand, whatever they're both on. Yeah. Those are the low end cards. You could have also made that argument when the 1060 launched because the 1050 and 1050 Ti hadn't come out yet. They just happened so much later. Like we still make it a so. desktop 4050. They well, were still mid tier. That's just ultra low end. You're right, my bad. Volcano Penguin <laughs> saying, wouldn't a 16 gigabyte model of the 7600 XT be, just be the same as the 16 gigabytes on the 4060 Ti? What I mean by that is we have criticized the 4060 Ti for being too weak a card to make use of the 16 gigabytes of ERM. So why are we treating the AMD equivalent like a good move? 7700 XT and 4070 are both superior cards to their respective cut down variants and they have 12 gigabytes of ERM. Both companies are doing the same thing, but AMD is getting less backlash. Uh, 
is because the 4060 Ti 16 gig was $500. That's, that's the biggest reason. Additionally, it was clearly an afterthought by NVIDIA after all of the backlash happened with the VRAM. It cost $100 more. They barely put any effort into it. If AMD just launches the 7600 XT as a 16 gigabyte version in the $350 price point. Why would they get backlash for giving you more for less? You can still make use of that 16 gigabytes of VRAM, not necessarily with the, you know, running AAA games, but you can utilize it for language models in case you want to do that. It's also useful in case you want to run higher fidelity games at, at, at higher resolutions and utilize more textures. The complaint that most people gave towards the 12 gigabytes is future proofing. And if Nvidia had launched the 16 gigabyte card at a cheaper price point, I don't think they would have gotten any backlash. So I don't know, or they still would have gotten backlash, but you know, it's just a cheap thing better. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Mr. Martin Shu is saying, it's nice to know that UFD has moved into the room with the dryer running in the background. I We work out of my basement and the dryer's always been there. I just forgot. Yesterday was a holiday and I had to make sure my kids had no, clothes for school it's today. It's bad so. luck to do laundry on New Year's. Is it? Apparently. I don't I've know. I was going to do laundry yesterday and Abby yelled at me. <laughs> I've never heard that before in my life. I don't, know. I don't care about other people's luck. Sometimes a dad's got to do laundry and forgets that he also has to film a video. I forgot how to end videos.